What's up guys, Johnny here back with more Call of Duty Mobile. In today's video, I give you guys all the tips and tricks you need to help you get your gold camos faster in COD Mobile. So I made a video already on how to unlock gold camos. And basically what you have to do is unlock all the other camos until the end and then play one game to get your gold camo. But now I got some tips for all the steps in between. So let's get into it guys. And before we start, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for daily cut mobile videos. So let's start with the basics. So for today's video, we're going to start with a brand new AR that I didn't work on yet. We're going to get the uh, LK24. It's level 12 and most of your guns will be level 10, level 12. If you already played before the update, they all have the level of your highest you had uh, previously. So we're going to equip that and uh, let's check out what we can do uh, also on the secondary i'm gonna use my fhj because i'm still working on that one uh so if i get some score streak to destroy but let's go with the lk24 gold camo you go to gunsmith and camos and there's one trick you can do right off the bat that will help you save some time if you can do it i would say if you can if you have some cards I, i'm starting with zero because i want to play from scratch but if you have some cards it would be really good to get your gun straight to level 32 off the bat. Why level 32? The camels you're going to have to unlock and the challenge you have to do, they unlock with levels. So at the start, you get your 600 kills. Then you have your hip fire kills. After that, it's the long shot kills. Then kills with five attachments. And then you have your headshots at level 32. So here's why I say if you can start straight at 32, while you work on your other stuff like uh, hip fire kills and long shots, if you happen to get a bunch of random headshots, well, they will count right off the bat for your jungle camos because you need 100 headshots. So if you don't start at 32, you will have to level up while doing your other task and then you're going to start counting your 100 headshots. So it's going to save you a bit of time if you get to count your headshots off the bat. Now the last one, 37, you'll get there by playing way before you're done with the rest. Uh, the last one is get kills without attachments. So you can do that at the end. But as soon as you get to level 32, your headshots will be counting. That will save you some time for sure. But for today's video, we have zero cards. We're gonna start straight at level 12 and we're gonna do everything from the scratch. So um, yeah, we're gonna go and get some hip fire kills to start. So there's two ways you can do this. You can just go on game modes with tons of players and just get a bunch of XP to get to level 32 ASAP. Or you can just go and grind these uh, one by one in order. I think it's more fun like that. So I'm going to start with that right now. We need 50 hip fire kills. So there's one attachment that can help you or one stat you're looking for to help you get your hip fire kills. Definitely go with a laser. Hip fire accuracy is going to help you a little bit for sure. And then you can just equip whatever you like at the start. Uh, we're going to go with a, a mag here. Uh, 40 bullets extended mag. And then just whatever you like. You can go optic. You can choose a perk if you want. Uh, long shot will help you later if you want for the, the long shot kills. But we're going to do that after. Now a good game mode and map hard point on rust to get a lot of fast kills. It's a small map, people go to the hard point. So you're gonna just rush and get your hip fire kills. So I'm gonna go with lightweight on that one because it's gonna help run faster and get to my targets fast. Uh, here you see I'm using um, demo expert, but it's just because I'm working on my FHJ at the same time. So demo expert might help and uh, cold blooded because uh, I don't want the sentry guns to target me if I'm trying to destroy the sentry guns. But let's get into it, guys. We're going to get the 50 kills and see how we're doing. All right, so it took me three quick games of hardpoint, and I'm already level 18, so ready for the next challenge. That is unlock at level 18. So let's check it out, guys, what we have done and what we have to do after three games. So back to the gunsmith. You click on camels and see the progression. So uh, on the total kills, you need 600 so don't worry about that one it's just gonna progress as you go but we got 88 kills uh and then the next one here is the hip fire kills and we are done so we can stop worrying about the hip fire and move on to the next one this one's now unlocked so now we gotta kill 80 enemies at long distance now that one's a bit tricky and it's kind of grindy if you don't know how to do it some guys will say go on big maps because you have a longer distance but it's not as easy as that your enemies will not just stand there at the other end of the map 
waiting for you to kill them. Different game modes, different spawns, you go, people go for objectives. It can be really tricky. So I have a tip for you guys, best tip ever. I mean, that's how I do it. And if you guys have a better trick, let me know. What I really like to do is go frontline on kill house. And here's why. In frontline, the spawns don't switch. So your enemies will always spawn at the other end of the map. And in kill house, people like to stay in the back and snipe and uh, when you kill enemies across the map, you get long shot medals every kill. So you will not get as many kills as playing in hard point, but every single kill will be a long shot. So if you get about 10 plus kills per game, well, it's going to take you like eight games to get your 80 kills. Now what you're looking for in stats is definitely accuracy and range. You do want your bullets to get there across the map. And the extra range damage will help you a little bit. So you can go on the perks and choose the damage range. Of course, it's going to help you a little bit. Now, the laser is no longer needed. You don't need a hip fire accuracy. So you can choose that slot for something else. So definitely the strike foregrip here is going to help my vertical recoil, but also the ADS bullet spread. That's what you're looking for the most. ADS bullet spread. You want your bullets to go straight when you shoot, so that's gonna help. Now I unlocked another one here and it's gonna help me a little bit with the recoil. So that's gonna help and we can remove something that's not necessary like the mag or whatever you choose to remove. So we got more accuracy, we got more range, we got more control. That should help get our long shot kills, so let's get into it. So here's the deal now, I'm done with the level 25 but I'm not done with the long distance skills. So you have two options. You finish your long distance skills or you go to a game mode where you're gonna get more XP fast with more kills like hard point on Rust again. So you're gonna start working on your five attachment kills and the last long kills that you need, they're just gonna happen naturally, randomly. So you have two options, but I recommend that you go back to hard point now and get a bunch of kills fast because remember, you need to get to level 32 ASAP so your headshots will start counting. Another option would be go to shipment 24-7 if it's still available. It's almost done, but you get a lot of hard point and domination, which is pretty good. The map's super small, so I really like that one too. So see here, I played one game of hard point. We lost, but still I got like 50 kills and I went up two levels. So it's going to be faster like that to level up instead of staying on the, the kill house and getting less skills. So let's keep going until level 32 and you will see now uh, I get a bunch of camos because uh, yeah the kills I got like 45 kills all right close to 50 uh, with the five attachments in one game so it's going to take like two games to finish these we still need a couple long shot because I did get like maybe one or something uh, but they're gonna happen with time maybe at the end if you're still missing some long shots you can go back to kill house just get the remaining kills that you're missing but let's keep leveling up and then start working on the headshots. All right, we just got level 32. It took me a few games because I got one kill confirm and one team that match, but it could be faster if you only do hard point. But I was on 24 seven shipment. Anyways, we got level 32. It's time to start working on the headshots now. So let's look at the tips for headshots. We're gonna need to check our builds, available attachments, and try to look for accuracy range and control so the ranger for grip is awesome for that extra control vertical recoil control and ads bullet spread accuracy is the two stats you're looking for so we're going to start replacing pretty much anything that is not going to reduce our stats so for the headshots we could remove the extra range from the perk for a start at least and we're going to check out what's available also now i feel we got a pretty good build right now so extra accuracy extra control is going to help with the headshots but then there's no shortcut guys for the headshots you need to aim for the head and hopefully your bullets will hit but with 73 on the accuracy it should be pretty good so try to not fight at too long of a range because at long range it's harder to hit the head but at close to medium range you're going to get more headshots now the game mode Anything with a lot of action, domination, hard point will help for sure. So I guess I'm going to keep playing on shipment. Now the next set will be uh, kills without attachments and it unlocks at level 37. So from 32 to 37, I mean, by the time you get your 100 headshots, most likely you'll be 37 for real. Uh, it could take five plus games depending if you're lucky. So let's get started guys. And uh, yeah, let's just do it. We'll see on my first game I got 13 headshots so if you do 10 per game you're gonna do it in 10 games and at the same time you said I got one more long shot so like I said 
Uh, when you're done or almost done with your long shots, you can come back later because you're going to get some still without trying. So I'm going to keep working on my headshots. I'm going to get some random long shots at the same time. And when I get to 37, if I'm not done with my headshots, there's two options again. I could go remove all my, ta my attachments, get my kills without attachments. On the way, I might get some random headshots and then come back to finish my headshots and then come back to finish my long shots. And that's going to be it, guys. So that's what I did. I went with zero attachments. I went and got my 80 kills without attachments. And now all we're missing is finishing the headshots. We're about halfway there. We got 47. So we need 53 more headshots and everything else is done. The 600 kills are done. Uh, the only thing we're going to be missing is um, seven long shots. So I'm thinking by the time I got my 57. So I'm thinking by the time I finish my headshots, I will probably be done with that. Maybe I'll be one or two short. We'll see. It's pretty random. But if we're missing some, we'll just go kill house and finish the long range. So let's just finish the headshots now and we'll be pretty much done. All right. So we're done with the headshots, guys. Now I got pretty lucky with the matchmaking. I got hard point. I got something like 16 headshots. Then the game right after I got domination. I got less than 10. And now another hard point, 27 headshots on that one. Uh, I think I'm short though on the long shots. I might need to go do one more uh, front line on kill house just to finish my long range. But we should be very close for real. Let's check out the stats, guys. Uh, again, gunsmith on the LK24 and camos. So yeah, this is done. This is done. This is not done. Uh, I need six, guys. It's going to take one game to do six long shots. But then everything's done. We're going to have to play one more game just to get the gold camo. So let's go do the long range and we'll be done now. And that's it. That was the last camo. Now I get so many questions and comments on my YouTube videos, guys. A lot of people say I unlock all the camos, but I don't have the gold camo. Why? Why is it not working? Guys, you're missing the last step. You got to go on your loadouts and check out the camos. And uh, when you go at the bottom... Look what it says, okay? Because I got everything now, right? I got 10 out of 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And now I don't have the gold. It says unlock by collecting all other grindable camels and play a match with this weapon. You have to play one more game, guys, once you're done with everything. So we're going to go. And the fastest way to just complete a game, I think, is team that match on Kill House. It's super fast. Like, seriously, two minutes, okay? So we're just going to do it real quick. So TDM on kill house, you don't even care if you win or lose. You just need to play a game. So we're just going to rush and kill stuff. Uh, first team to 40 points and it's over. So it's not like frontline. You don't have to camp in the back. You can just go in and try to get some kills, man. And that's it. We got the gold camel, guys. So that was super fast. The last game on uh, kill house, like two to three minutes max for a team that match. And that's how you get gold camels, guys uh not that complicated but you gotta do the grind and uh two to three hours maybe more depends on your luck if you don't get the headshots for real uh if you get five headshots per game it's gonna be 20 games that's a long grind but if you get like 20 it's gonna be much faster but you don't get 20 headshots every game not gonna lie to you guys i got lucky i got a, a couple big games but it's not always like that when you get team that match or kill confirm you can get like two, three, five headshots, sometimes not. So yeah, you have to grind, guys. So that's it, the beautiful LK24 gold camel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, for real. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash that like. Subscribe to the channel for daily COD Mobile videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.
hard point contested. The enemy is jamming our radar. It's up to you, man. Spotted. Hostiles have the hard point. Contact with enemy. Enemy shot our city's Changing mag. Hostiles jamming our radar. Enemy UAV spotted. Pick it up, team. Capture the objective. Capture the objective. Capture the objective. It's up to you, man. UAV spotted. Contact with enemy. Changing mag! Ready to jam in UAV. Deployment. Hardpoint locked down. Enemy UAV spotted. Hardpoint contested. Hardpoint contested. Hardpoint lost. Enemy shock RC is coming. Enemy is jamming our radar. Hardpoint is ours. Heads up. Enemy UAV spotted. Hostiles have captured the hardpoint. Enemy in sight! 